Alex said, are, are you kind of surprised, pleasantly surprised that, that you've gotten to this point um, as we have uh, with, with just like the numbers being so low with, uh, with COVID infection kind of around the league? Yeah, I mean, obviously we had no clue what to expect going into the season. And uh, yeah, pleasantly surprised would be a good way to describe it. Next question from Brett Martell. Alex, uh, so you guys have had to prepare the last few years for a certain Tampa Bay offense. Um, can you describe how you know it's a little different now, particularly with the quarterback change and also with Gronkowski? Yeah, I mean, you know, one, we don't really know what to expect as far as how much of you know what Brady does, you know, implementing it into the Bucks offense. Obviously, Coach Arians has his offense, so. Uh, there's some gray area, and um, obviously they're going to get their playmakers the ball, and uh, Gronk's one of them, so uh, you got to prepare for that. So, you know, there may be different ways and different things we see than what we see on film right now, but, um, you know, we're, we'll be ready. And if I could follow up real quickly, um, I guess is it also a little more challenging, even if you have an idea what's coming, and that it's in addition to Howard, Godwin, and Evans, if he plays, is also uh, Gronkowski and Fournette. Yeah, I mean, the more playmakers a team has, the harder it is to play against them. And, uh, you know, the, what, what those guys have done in the past speaks for itself. And uh, we'll be ready, but, um, you know, they're, they're great players, and uh, they get paid too. Thank you. Next question from Nick Underhill. Alex, I'm sure this isn't the first game you guys have entered where there's, there's some gray area. When you do get into one of those and there are some surprises, just what's that adjustment process like? And, and you know, how do you guys kind of go through that? Yeah, I mean, throughout the game, you kind of, you know, each team game plans and for, you know, what you what you run and what you've put on film. So um, there's a little bit of that every game. Obviously, this game is the, the season over, so we don't really know completely what to expect. But, um, you know, as long as you play your rules and uh, your, your sound and your gaps and everything like that, you'll be fine. Um, you know, obviously, you may be stuck in some situations that, you know, are tougher than others. So, um, you know, the, their coaches get paid too. And, um you know, we just got to be ready to adjust on the go. Yeah, we kind of talk about that like halftime adjustments. Cause that, that's really like like a series by series thing, huh? Oh yeah, yeah. When you get to the sideline, you know, you, we have the iPads out there, and uh, we, we see what they're trying to do. Uh, usually in the first series or two, and uh, what they think that what we think is what what they like, and uh, you know, adjust from there. Next question is from Amy Just. Yeah, now that it's finally game week, did this offseason feel longer to you, I guess, given everything that's happened since March? Yeah, I mean, I feel like, you know, during quarantine and all that, it's been wild for everyone. We didn't really know what to expect if we were coming here for OTAs and then it got delayed and, um, you know, figuring out what we were doing for training camp, the rules and everything like that. And then once we finally got here, the first couple of weeks were a little slow and then, um, you know, they sped up as, as we got along with pads on and everything like that. So, um you know, it's it's been quick the last couple of weeks, and we're what four days away from the game. Next question from Luke Johnson. Hey Alex, how long do you think it's going to kind of take guys to get uh, feeling normal playing full speed? I, I mean, yeah, it's been since you were in college that you kind of just went through camp without having like an exhibition sort of thing leading up. Uh, is yeah. that going to take a while to adjust to? Um. I don't know. That's a good question. Obviously, it's going to be weird playing in front of no fans, and some guys feed off of that, so they're going to have to adjust their game to that. Um, you know, as far as far as playing full speed, um, you know, I think we'll be ready as a, as a, on our side. Um, you know, coach does a good job putting us in game like uh, situations throughout training camp and even throughout the week going into the season or to a game, and um, you know, we should we should be good. Uh, you know, but it'll be interesting to see. You know, just like I said, with no fans. Um, you know, it could be interesting. Some teams may not come out with as much energy as others. So, I guess one of the, I, I don't know if you saw the game, I mean, probably not, because I didn't, I didn't really watch it, but I saw people talking about it. Uh, like, apparently, like, Navy football was having just, like, a horrible time tackling. Uh-huh. Uh, it's because they haven't done it at all. So, like, how do you, like, do you feel prepared, I guess, uh, is the best way to put that. Like, right. just to... Yeah, I mean, I... Realistically, we, we didn't get the same opportunities as a normal preseason to do that live tackling, like you said. And usually week one um, is when you do see a lot of missed tackles, uh, regardless of preseason or not. Um, so that's definitely something that we, we stress and 
Um, you know, whether it's certain drills, with knowing your leverage on the tackle and knowing where you have help, uh, using the sideline to make a tackle, I think that's all really important and, you know, not, not missing those tackles and, you know, those could be really key plays during the game. Next question is from Amy Just. Yeah, you've played Tom Brady before. It's like your second NFL game. But what's it like uh, going uh, up against a guy like that who you've been watching maybe since you were a kid? Yeah, yeah, I think it's similar, uh, you know, going against someone uh, like him in practice against Drew. Um, you know, someone, one, like you said, growing up watching him on TV, and two, him knowing exactly, you know, where to go with the ball and uh, really smart uh, attention to detail, all those things that make him great. Um, you know, I think that's definitely tougher, you know, going to a game like that, uh, you know, that you have to go against a quarterback like that. Next question from Nick Underhill. Just curious uh, for, for your scouting report impressions of uh, Chase Hansen. Yeah, no, he had a really good camp. Um, he's, a, he's a great player. He's fast. I think he transitioned from safety from college. Obviously, he's coming off an injury, um, I guess, this past year. Uh, but he's had a really impressive camp, and obviously he's on the 53 for a reason. And uh, we'll see what he does this year. Next question is from Rod Walker. Hey, Alex, you mentioned kind of growing up watching Brady, but how weird is it just, I mean, these are two guys that you grew up watching. How, how young does that make you feel? <laughs> Uh, yeah, it, it does make me it make me feel a little young. Obviously, they play quarterback, so it's a little different age expectancy, um, you know. But it is really unique. Obviously, if you make a play on someone like that, it's it feels a little different, to be honest. Next question from Nick Underhill. That important that what's that do for for you guys a linebacker with a team that can kind of spread out a little bit, but then also you got this guy that. You know, it's kind of a power runner. What, what's that challenge for the linebackers? Yeah, I mean, it's a big challenge. Anytime you face a, a running back that's a, a power runner and kind of like uh, was alluded to earlier about, you know, emphasis on tackling in week one, I think that would be really important on a back like him. And uh, he obviously does a great job of doing, doing his job and making players miss and, you know, all those things that make him great. So, you know, it'll definitely be a challenge, and we're up to it.